Hello everyone, I am player HOI and this is a quick tutorial to show you how to change any flag in Hearts of Iron 4. So for this tutorial we are going to be changing the German flag. I know that a lot of people are eager to change the German flag for some reason. There, our first step to change the flag is to download your own version of the flag. I have already done this, so this is going to be our German flag for this example. Now make sure that the flag that you download is uh, not very small. It's okay if it's bigger. Okay, don't worry, we're going to be resizing this flag anyway. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create a mod for the game, which will be using our new flag. How do we do that? We need to open Hearts of Iron 4. In the launcher, we need to go to mods. Click on Mod Tools, then click on Create Mod. The first thing we need to do is to give our mod a name, so we'll call it German Flag Mode, and assign a directory to that mod. So we'll call it just German Flag. That's going to be the directory. Don't worry about supported version, you don't need to change this. You do need to fill some mod tags, so we'll just fill one of these. We'll call it Graphics, and then click on Create Mod. Now this is the path to our mod, and we'll be using this path later on. Once we're done, you can just click on Close, and we'll close the launcher at this point as well. Now, the next thing we need to do is to actually extract the original flags so that we can actually change them. To do this, we need to go to the folder where they are actually kept by the game. So, the game is usually stored in C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Hearts of Iron 4, and now we need the GFX folder and the Flags folder. Now, the path to our flags is very important and our mod needs to follow this path as well. So we will create a new folder for our mod. Okay, this is just a temporary one. In here, you need to create the GFX folder and the flags folder as well. Now notice that the flags folder actually has two more folders, small and medium. That is because flags in the game are actually divided into three samples, a large one, a medium one, and a small one. So we'll create these folders as well. Call this one small, calling this one medium. Great, now we just need to place these flags in our own folder. Okay, first of all, let's find the German flag here. Okay, don't use search since it will actually search in all of these folders and we won't know which one to put in. So let's go down and find our German flag. Okay, here's Germany, and we'll be taking German Fascism. That is the flag we'll be editing, so I'll put it here. I will need to find this in the small folder. Here we can use search, since, since it will only search in this folder. So I'll type GER, Germany Fascism. We'll copy this into this folder. Go back to flags, go back to flags. Now we need the medium flag, I'll type Germany again, and copy the flag over here. Alright, so we won't be needing this folder for now. Now we need to uh, actually change these flags to our new flag. So we'll be using GIMP to actually edit the graphic files. Uh, there is a link to GIMP in the description. If you don't have it, if you have any other graphic software that you use and that you know how to, how to do the things that we're going to do, that's fine, you can use that. So I'll open up GIMP. Now to make our work more simple, make sure to click on Windows. And make sure that single window mode is actually turned on. It's going to make our work much more simple. So I'll just drag our big flag in here. Okay, we need to resize this flag 
to the size of the original flags. Now, how do I know the size of the original flags? I'll need to open them here. So I'll go to File, Open. We'll go to New Germany flag. And we'll start with the large version first. I'll double click on that or click on Open. And here's our flag. You see that the size is 82 by 52. So this is the size of our flag that we need, the first one at least. So we'll go here, go to Image, Scale Image, and we'll type in 52 by 49, and uh, that's fine. We can change it to actually 82 by 52. Okay, so we'll make it a little bit larger to make sure that it actually fits. Let's go for 88. And click on scale. Now this is our flag, we'll just copy it. So I'll go to the rectangle tool, select it, hit Control C, go to our German flag and hit Control V. Okay, now our flag is positioned in the center. That's what I want the flag to look like. Now we need to save it. So in order to save it, go to File, Export As. There's our flag. So I'll either double click it or click on Export. It will ask if I want to replace, we'll replace. Now, this is very important, make sure to remove RLE compression, sorry. And then click on export. Okay, so that's our big version flag done. Now we need the other two as well, the medium and the small one. So we'll open those as well. Let's go to our open, do the medium first, double click on that. And again, I'll just copy and paste in here once I have the size done. So it's 41 by 26. So I'll change this one to 45. That should do it. Scale. Control C. Control V. There's our new flag. Hit file. Export as. Notice that we are in the medium folder. Click on export, replace. Again, make sure that this is turned off. Export. Excellent. One more flag, which is the small one. So we'll click on open. Go to flags, small. Open this flag. Now you see that it's very, very tiny. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's just how the game uses it. Okay, it's okay if you don't really see much here. We see that it's 10 by 7, so we'll resize our original image. Let's go 10 by, well, we'll go to 12 probably. Scale, okay, now again, don't worry if you don't see it, just select it, Control C, Control V, File, Export as, make sure we're in the small, export, replace, export, done. Okay, now we have our flags and we just need to copy them over to our mod to be used. Okay, so to do that, I'll take the GFX folder, copy that, go to my documents where the mod folder is. Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4, Mod, there's our German flag folder, we just put it in here, paste, and our flag is ready to be used by the game. So we'll just close this. Before we actually go and check that the, that the flag is working, we need to activate the mod. So we'll open the game, go to Mods, check our German flag mod, and hit play. 
Okay, as you can see, our flag is here, the new flag of the German Reich.